be cautious when it comes to streaks because they can be a really powerful tool, but they can also be an equally destructive tool. Hello everyone, welcome to the new year. We're officially one weekend. I hope you've had a good first week. I've definitely had a very good first week myself, but there's something I definitely should have brought up in my video uh, on day one of the new year that I just completely omitted. And it was a bit, it was stupid of me not to bring it up because I think I could have potentially set you guys up a little bit for failure and I don't want to do that. So I want to clarify this idea about streaks. Uh, streaks are really popular when it comes to self-improvement, no matter what you're looking at. It could be something like you keep a streak of every day you run, uh, every day you stick to a diet, and people really like to keep streaks. And fair enough, they're really great. Like you can really build momentum. You can really start snowballing. You see, you know, you get past that first week, you're like, oh, seven days in, hell yeah, 10 days, 15, 20, 30. And once you get these massive streaks going, you'll do anything at all costs to keep them going because they're just so big. And if you fail, well, Jesus, you're gonna have to do a whole lot of work. It's gonna take a whole lot of time to build up to where you were. So in that sense, streaks can be really powerful. But what I think can be really dangerous about them is when you mess up and you concede and you, you, you end a streak. So after a month of uh, running, you forget to run one day and that can be really bad because that can be almost, what do you call it in maths, an inflection point. It's where things can take a very bad direction if you don't have the right mindset. Because really, if you, if you lose a 30-day streak, that can be hugely demotivating. Uh, that might mean you don't run for the next week. One week might turn to two weeks, a month two months, three months before you know it, it's 2024 and we're trying to pick up running again because after a month of doing it straight, we just completely lost motivation after missing one day and it just spiraled out of control. So in that sense, I think streaks can be really, really, really dangerous. You see it as well with like uh, dieting and stuff. If you, you accidentally screw up on a diet, people are like, oh, well, screwed up my streak. Time to go binge eat 12,000 calories and gain like a kilo in a day, which is just is the exact opposite thing of what we want to do. So I want to offer a better framework. Um, not completely shown streaks because I keep streaks for some things. I think streaks can be valuable, but I think you need the right mindset for when a streak ends. Because a lot of people's first reaction is just like, oh, well, I have a failure, time to go <laughs> eat four kilograms of ice cream. It's like, no, 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 you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. So the way I like to visualize it, and I think Better Ideas talked about this in a recent video, and it's also an idea James Clear talks about in Atomic Habits, uh, and it relates to just identity. I think when we pick up a new habit, we, we too quickly look to streaks, uh, and we're too quick once we fail to just, just give up on them entirely. And I think this is the completely wrong way to look at things. Rather than like looking at it, I don't know if binary is the right word of like success and failure, like I'm either doing well or I'm not. I really like this idea that James Clear talks about in Atomic Habits, where he says that every action you do, let's say you're running, you're on a 30 day run streak, right? Every day you continue to run, that's like a vote in cast of an identity you're looking to move towards. Say you're running, you're you're casting a vote in favor of being an athlete. And if you didn't know, identity is crucial to habits. Maybe, I mean, have I talked about this on the show? I don't even know. But if you're wanting to pick up running, by the way, I think it's so huge that you have this constant mental shift of saying, I'm running every day. I'm an athlete. This is what an athlete does. And then if you actually like fully merge into that identity, it just completely changes your behavior. It's like, no, I'm an athlete. I don't eat X when I'm on a diet. I run every day, right? So identity is crucial to things like this. And I really like the way James Clear uh, conceptualizes it because each day you go for a run, you're casting a vote in favor of that athletic identity. 30 days in a row, 30 votes to that athletic identity. That's fantastic, right? But let's say your streak ends and for one day you don't run and you feeling a bit lazy, you just couldn't do it, right? Well, rather than everything coming to an end, that's just one vote in your old identity for someone who doesn't run. That's one vote, one to 30. Think of how massive that difference is. There's no way that one vote should ever, ever have that much power over you to lead to this massive negative spiral. I think that's so bad. So I really, I really think this is a powerful framework to think of habits through. This is, I think I mentioned before, I can't have scrum recording, but I think better ideas. He mentioned this, idea, he used the analogy of like two roads, right? And you have a really, it's like the road you're usually on it works, but you're not really happy with it, right? And you'd rather move to this more efficient road that doesn't have potholes. But unfortunately, there's a bunch of trees in the way. You gotta, you know, I think he says something about bush bashing your way through, right? So every day you're running, you know, you're, you're pushing through a bit more. You're, you're cutting down a tree, you're doing whatever it is, right? You're bush bashing, you're bush bashing through the road. 30 days, maybe you went 30 meters down the new road, right? And then one day you miss it. Well, guess what? The road's fine. It hasn't changed. It's still 30 meters worth of road. And it's only if you give it up for a week, two weeks, a month, two months, three months, that trees are going to start regrowing and patching over that, that, that path and you can't use it again. So just really keep this in mind with streaks. I think streaks are very powerful. It's good for building momentum and stuff. But more importantly, don't let you failing a streak make everything good you've worked towards collapse on you because that's the worst. That's the exact opposite of what we want because we're human. Life happens. Sometimes we can't adhere to something and we should not let that be the factor that just completely eradicates all the progress you've made. Some days we're not feeling it. Some days we succumb to our temptations and that's fine. We're human beings. 
that is okay. The last thing we want is for those those moments of, I don't want to say weakness, but I guess it is a moment of weakness where you, you give into a craving, you, you don't go for the run, you skip a workout, right? That's fine. That's what every successful person who started, you, you think so, like the successful weightlifters, powerlifters, super athletes haven't skipped workouts? Of course they have. We're human beings. Don't go too harsh on yourself. This is something I need to tell myself is not to be too harsh on myself because I think streaks are great and I probably need to carry this mentality I'm telling you, which I do, I do, I definitely do. It's just like, I try to keep myself to a higher standard because I wanna I want to make sure I can like vouch, you know, what I'm trying to preach to you guys. I wanna try and hold myself to an even higher account just to give some form of authority on it, you know, but truly just, just I think it's a super, super good framework to keep in mind. All progress isn't lost when you slip up once, but I think some people can let that happen. I think James Clear also talks about in Atomic Habits is that if you miss a, a habit of a day, that's fine, just don't miss it two days in a row so if you miss a workout that's fine next day back on it it's once you start missing two days in a row that you start that the momentum starts building in the opposite way and you're it's like you're you're, you're trying to push your 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 what's the what's the phrase i'm struggling here it's like you're moving uphill right it's an uphill battle that's what i'm looking for it becomes an uphill battle rather than saying where you've got momentum that's easy and you can keep it going and going and going so don't miss a habit two days in a row something james clear recommends but also that idea of casting votes in favor of an identity i think i might next week i might talk more about identity i just realized i haven't brought up I don't think I brought up identity, and I think it's a core, it's so, 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 so powerful. Uh, it's a core idea to Atomic Habits, so I might talk about that next week. But just remember, every time you do a positive action that's leading you towards your goals and you're progressing, that's a vote in the way you want to go. And if you don't do it, guess what? That's only one vote the other way. You have so much progress, it just outweighs it so heavily. So don't let one slip up, just completely derail you. And you need to keep this in mind for 2023. Uh, we're still all writing that, well, okay, I hope you haven't. I, I think we're all writing that like New Year motivation still, right? Hopefully, if you've had a rough first week that's okay we can get back on track but most of us probably still running that motivation right i think the coming weeks is where the test really kicks in what week one's it's not easy but it's it's pretty it's not too bad but when we get to week two three and four of january when you see 80 to 90 percent of people drop off there's a reason but just remember one day of slipping up is not the end of the world you're human don't fucking beat yourself up too hard just get back on track the next day it's fine but we'll get through this. We'll do it. It's a long journey. Enjoy the journey. We'll all get through it. Cast those votes in the right identity that you want and be the, because you know, be the person you want to become. You've set a goal. Let's, let's fucking hit it. I want you to hit it. Let's hit these goals this year. That's all I want to get to you. That's basically all I want to say this week's went pretty well, pretty well. I've had to adjust my routine a bit. I realized it wasn't like super good. So I've already adjusted it a bit. I'm having, I will say here, I'm having, I'm having second thoughts about the third channel. I've realized that getting half a million subscribers on my main channel is going to require all my focus and even dedicating one hour a day to my third channel. I don't, I, I'm not not sure if that's going to be feasible. I might, I might have to come back to that idea in the future. But besides that, I did 20,000 steps every day this week. I went for three runs. I finished a main channel video. I had a great first week. I've lost a kilo and a half already. Um, I'm doing, I'm never going to encourage people to diet the way I do. I'm just used to fasting. So when I only have one meal a day and I walk 20,000 steps, my body's chill with that. I have a little lunch. I have some fruit for lunch, but I don't recommend that to anyone, but I, I had some success. I've lost a kilo and a half, which is good. And people say, that's unhealthy. It's, you're losing weight too quickly. I probably am, but it just works for me. You do what you do, not recommending it. But I've had a successful first week. I've journaled every day, read every day, meditate every day. Uh, finished John Pearson's 12 More Rules for Life. Actually, I've got to finish that after this. I've got 30 pages left. It's actually been a pretty good read. There's some points I was like, eh, not so good a read. But other points, I think there's some, I think, I think Dr. Peterson, I think he does have some very valid advice for life. Uh, I think some people sell them short too quickly, uh, and I don't think it's entirely fair. Though he does say some pretty, pretty stupid things occasionally, but I'm completely derailing. That's all from me. Uh, well, one week in. I hope you've done well. Feel free to email me questions. I haven't checked that email in a while, so I might, they might take a look at some emails or something. Join the Discord, and yeah, farewell, Elite Level Gamer.